Outback um, buggy. I've secured it up already. Outback Smash in brackets Dune Buggy by Hazo. H A Z O. This is a buggy made by Hazo. Uh, it's pretty cool little little small car. I like these little small cars. And I'm going to go over some of uh, what he's created or what they've created and then I'm going to show you my version of it and they've given me permission to upload my version which I'll be doing along with this video so first off tail lights are uh, RCS thrusters and they help to turn it which is pretty cool there's the uh, air intakes in the bottom which is getting pretty cool and the wheels sit inside the uh, the, the, the suspension area for the tires because the big tires would just break apart under like pressure from driving so it's a cute little buggy and uh, I'm going to take it out for a test drive here so it operates with uh, as you can see uh, above the rear wheels there there's thrusters and so when you give it some power not too much power or it'll lift the back end off the ground and then you push push the uh, VTOL up, it pushes the vehicle forwards. And then for turning, you use um, yaw, which turns the wheels and operates the, uh, the things in the back. I don't know how he got his wheels to keep turning after 24 miles per hour, because when I travel faster than 24, the steering stops. But anyways, at about, yeah, like at about, it, it gets, sensitive as you drive and you can spin out and do such do like that and again of course if you go any faster you can end up risking uh, lifting the back end off of the tarmac and this is my modified version I painted it blue for a difference so first off the wheels the wheels have been placed inside the uh, fake wheels. I did this by placing it outside as normally and then using the number pad to push them into the model. The thrusters have been moved to the middle of the car and um, turned upside down rather than facing down they now face up. So while the engine is firing they actually hold the car onto the ground. You can't turn, nothing works because they're forcing it into the ground which is good for traction. The front I added two wheels onto the bumper for uh, smashing into things and there is a thruster at the front and that's what causes it, that's the steering and also makes it go faster. So first off let's take this thing all the way up to full power. As you can see it's not lifting off the ground because the uh, can't even turn because the thrusters are forcing it onto the ground. Uh, now to go forwards, you use pitch. So in my case, the left analog stick is for moving forwards and backwards, and the right analog stick is to turn. Now because, um, I don't know, it has very good traction, you can take this thing up nice and fast and it'll slide around a little bit but the traction stays pretty good and if you really want to stop you can, uh, well there's the brakes but actually what you want to do is you can, you can do that to throw it backwards but what really works is spinning out so if you get this thing going nice and fast you just throw that forwards make a turn and then just kinda let it slide itself silly Is there? Oh, the engine! Oh, the humanity! Oh. Still working? Yeah, it still kind of works. There we go. That's ah, no problem. We'll just keep going. Now it looks like a British car. If you uh, flip it upside down, you can right it. It'll right itself because the engines will cause it to flip over because it's bottom heavy. 
Nice. I guess I wouldn't recommend going up hills with this thing, or too fast, but uh, yeah, it works, works really well now. I'm sure this is more to what, I like, to, I like to think that when I tweak something, it's more to what the creator was really looking for. This is why I always ask them, hey, is it okay if I upload this thing? But uh, that's, that's the tweaked version that'll be uploaded to the Simple Planes website people to check out and of course linked to the original thank you for watching and see you next build